What's up everyone? Steve Sievers from Bionic Buzz. We're here at Kraken Music Festival here in the Lando Amphitheater. It's got amazing lineups. Let's go backstage and see who we can talk to. Then, Let's just do it. It's starting. And they come in, they come in. If anything, clip it. If they, if they come, come in, they, they come, in. come in. Yeah. That's what yeah. she said. All right, uh, first off, introduce yourself. Start on your left and go down. What, what instrument do you play? We start now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, my name is Tony. I play lead guitar. My name is Drew. I do bass. And my name is AJ, and I am the guy who does the singing stuff. Sometimes. All right, so here at Bionic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion for music kind of come from? A certain album inspired, a certain live performance, or something that was natural for you? Let's start with you, AJ. Uh, my parents divorced. No, 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 no. Well, that all started off dark. Wow, it started off very dark. I would never say that, but because uh, my mom will probably watch this and she'll roll her eyes. No, my, my passion for music just kind of came from wanting to find friends in high school and wanting to feel accepted. And I don't know, my, I grew up around music. My father's a musician. And my mother uh, has great taste in music. And it's just one of those things that's always been a part of my life. And I don't know, it's just... You know, you, you go through your years and you listen to songs that fucking uh, you enjoy at the time, and then later you start to gravitate toward your own taste. And eventually, I went from a pop punk kid to a metal guy, and that's it. All right, right. that's Jesse. it. Come Jesse. On in. Oh, Jesse, come on in. No, Jeremy Jesse, Jesse, somewhere. This is Jesse. Hey, Jesse. And Jesse plays drums. And then Outside. our dickhead guitar player, Jeremy, will be here He's in a on second. Way. So he'll introduce himself. I apologize. Okay. What are your passion? Um, so, my passion for music came from my older brother. He was always in a band when I was younger. So I'm two years younger than him, and he's always, uh, he's had a, like a local garage band. I always saw him play with his, you know, his buddies. I was always the, like the young kid trying to tag along. And I finally picked up one of his uh, bass player's bass, started playing it. The dude got really pissed. goes, don't ever play my bass ever again. And I was like, <laughs> this kind of feels cool, though. Uh, ended up practicing, started my own band with him. And then that's what started me, man, because, you know, just watching the rock and roll from, from like, being young, I just kind of fell in love with the world. And I've been touring and playing shows ever since. Here, you can you sit between my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that's your front chair right anyway. You sit here. Very nice. All right, you're a fashion. Um, leather on leather. Mine uh, came from the fact that my, my dad is a drummer. He's, he's been a drummer since he was about 15. Um, my my very, first, uh, very first concert he ever took me to was Rush back when I was about... Uh, 12 or 13. Wow, that's a good first concert. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. That's all yeah, I'm going to Yeah, that, that lets you know right away that he's a fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. He likes it a lot, man. I am uh, a proud nerd. I'm, I'm a proud nerd, too. I'm going to show you he's a fucking nerd. Yeah. What's that? Oh, is, is it Neil Pert? Peart. <laughs> Fuck you! Nerd. Hey, rest in peace, bro. Rest, rest in peace. peace. Peart. What a fucking dude. But I know he's one of the worst. Uh, yeah, I mean, my my passion mainly came from from my dad. You know, he uh, he had the same dream too when he was when he was my age. Just you know, had a family young. Um, but uh, I picked up drums at the age of seven, guitar at the age of nine, um, mainly from my older brother who got lessons uh, from a guy in Georgia named Tim Bauer who taught Chris Link of Attila as well. Oh really? So. Um, yeah, I mean, I was just, I was always around it, and I couldn't just pick one, so I started with drums, merged a guitar, came down here, joined a band on bass, picked that up, and it's just been uphill ever since. Um, it's all I've ever wanted. It's all I'm not going to sell for anything less. All right, so uh, Jesse just walked in. Uh, here at Bionic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion for music kind of come from? Certain album inspired? Something that was just natural for you? Oh. Um, Fucking Steve. Steve. Dad. Steve. Dad. 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 Is basically our drone tech, and he's the uh, fucking man. Tell yeah. about Steve. Yeah, my dad, my dad grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey, so he was all with like all those eighty bands from Van Halen to Skid Row to Bon Jovi and, yeah, fucking, yeah, I love bon and Jovi. beyond. You know, so he picked up drums at a very early age as well with marching band, and then and you were halfway there. Yeah, I was already yeah. halfway there. So as soon as I I came out the womb, it was like here's a pair of drumsticks for you, and let's get rolling. So I picked up I picked up my first kit around the age of four. And then, you know, it was kind of just a a roll from there. There was no stopping me I from playing. I was playing drums in his ball bag. Oh, yeah, I was playing <laughs> drums in his nutsack. In his nutsack, mate. And, uh, you know, he took me to my first concert, which was actually Cinderella and Poison. Wow! Okay, that's a great one. <laughs> Mine was the oh, yeah. 
that dude. smoke tour. You were just fucking shit thought by it. <laughs> so after after that, I kind of fell in love with like that whole '80s rock vibe and just yeah. continued to play all that shit from Def Leppard to Motley Crue to you know Judas Priest and everything in between from there. He was conceived at a, at a rat concert. It was conceived. Yeah, a rat concert. Is, that's you can't he was tell. Conceived. But he was. So that's all you gotta say. He was also in the parking lot. Dog. Right. Yeah, he was also definitely conceived doggy. So, so Jesse Ooh. was it. Jesse was our imagine. first drummer in this band. Uh-huh. Me and AJ have, have stuck this out. God, there's too many. Passion's keeping you going. Too many lineups. Passion definitely keeps lineups. us going. But, but in in regard to Jesse, um, when we met him, I, I just see this like. Like Zoomies employee looking dude, and <laughs> so I get that's kind of the accurate time, though. I it's remember I asked him like two questions. It was like, can you play like Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue, and can you can you like swing you know twist the sticks like Tommy Lee? And Jesse was like, hold oh. my and, beer. And he's just like, he's like, huh, fuck you, and just like you know I like just des- destroys it. And we're like, I think I think the first video shoot that we all did together down in that basement, I think I played like the whole Motley Crue album for everybody. It was I also think our nice. first band practice, he comes out and he has like two handguns and a beanie. And I'm like, why does he have two handguns? Oh, like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, why does he have two handguns? And he's like holding them up with his beanie and he's like, yo, what's up? Call me Bones. So that's his nickname. I call him Bones every day. Especially Bones. because he reminds me of Tommy Lee and Tommy yeah. Lee's nickname is T-Bone. And Bones runs t bone <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, let's talk about evil things. Your latest album, you yeah. know. Talk. Um, probably my favorite track is "Sell Your Soul." I mean, sure. that's Ooh. very. That was that the yeah. rock and roll. Oh, glad you say that. Fuck yeah, Definitely man. a party song. For you know sure. what? That's that's sick. It's really awesome. Like doing to do like these these press uh, junkets and like one of the cool things is hearing what everybody's favorite song because everybody has a different one. It's, yeah. Um, it's it's really cool. I'm glad that you like that one because that's. Honestly, that, that, that was the first song that was written for Evil Things. Like, oh, nice. we, we had no idea what we were doing. We just kind of went in and started fucking around, and that's why it has, like, that weird kind of, like, melodic, uh, hip hop style verse. I, I don't know. It was just, like, a... This is the strangest way we ever went way. recording about something. We actually started with just, like, that little riff, and then I had this thing, and I was like, you guys are going to hate this. And they're like, what? And I'm like, I don't know. It's don't want no bullshit. That's all for free. I want the money. So give it all to me. It's, it's kind, kind of funny. funny. And they were like, that's, that's actually sick. That's my biscuit sick. is fucked. AJ, AJ was like, yeah. was, 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 yeah. AJ was trying to hear it. I don't his, want no bullshit. That's he was, all he was all Fred Durst, very like kind of almost like icy vanilla ice. Yeah. Well, well I, I was, I, I was thinking like, but I wanted it to have like that cool groove. But I also in my head I was like, don't make it. Don't make it. Uh, I was thinking Beastie Boys. Epic. Ah. Don't make it epic by faith no more. I didn't want yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's coming. Give it today. I didn't want that it, at all. But but Atreyu has a really good cover. Mm-hmm. Atreyu has a great cover. I was just stoked that Sell Your Soul was different. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, it was it was like the strangest thing. I remember the first day we started writing it. It was like the like the worst day of my life. I woke up from like with the worst hangover. Came to meet the guys. Um, I had just broken up with a girlfriend I was living uh, with, like, cheated on me the night before, was, like, in a hotel room, miserable, and I show up, like, smelling like crap, and I'm like, all right, guys, it's time to start the record, and I'm like, okay, you know, and, and, but, but I think because it was so, like, like, all over the place, and, and just, just... Not, it was, not it, premeditated, it worked yeah. out. It was and it wasn't, because the concept has been there since day one, because I'm a fucking psychopath about that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And it was one of those things where I went, okay, all right, so it, like, it evolved from the seven sins to like, oh, we're going to do a full length. So I'm like, what could we do this around? And I'm like, Dante's fucking Inferno. Someone mentioned it to me, and it all clicked inside my head, and I was like, <gasps> and then I went down like little crazy little rabbit hole, like, oh my god, <laughs> and then we can do this, and then sonically, and then we think it could be like this, and then we start walking crazy. And he talks exactly like that. I do. I do. And he when sings I, like that too. When I get in like, one of my little moments, I'm like this. I'm like, I'm like, kind of connecting pieces. I'm like a fucking puppet master. And it's one of those. I love it. It's one of those things like if you, if you were around me, you'd fucking hate me. Like if I get like <laughs> if I get one of those artistic grooves, we all love I'm just like, and then everything has so much meaning to it. And then it's just this. And then it's this. She, 
Yeah, our publicist, <laughs> who's over here Ask right now. Tori. Yeah, Tori has had to deal with me on that on the phone, going like, oh, and then and then and we do this and then that and then this will do this. And, and she's just there smiling like, okay, AJ, I'll get right on that. I'll get on right on that. I, I think that like in whole though, like with writing in general, like creativity comes from the most deranged, like screwed up, messed up, you know, situations that nobody predicts, mm -hmm. and it's like. Are oh, you guys like writing? Are you working on something? Do you write every day? Sometimes people ask like that question, and yeah. it's like, no, because I don't write every day because something needs to click. Something needs to happen. Yeah, you know, and and sometimes it's something you don't even agree with or even see happening, and then it turns in and manifests into something you can look back on and be like, wow, that's not only something really great and and breaks a barrier, but also something that um, we. We, we, we did mean without trying to mean it in the moment. Well, and what's interesting, writing-wise, for this for this record as well, you know, you mentioned the most important thing for writing is that it's never, you know, forced, you know, it has to come naturally. And I think the one exception to that for this record was Parasite because it was such a last-minute edition. Right. And it's the only song on the record that has this lineup's input in full. Mm -hmm. And we had a total of a six-hour writing session. Four. For, yeah, four hour quick, writing session. Quick. It was the smoothest writing wise, I think. And I don't know. Well, one of the things speak. that worked so well is like I had this melody in my head, and we, everybody was just kind of like, everybody was just playing three different breakdowns at the same time. And I'm like, I'm like, and we had like we had riff ideas, and I'm like, something's not working, and I'm like, follow me. I looked at you and I was like, follow me, and then we came up with that like, da, 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 right, da, 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 da. follow. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden we had a song. It was like from there. It was like oh, and then we did yeah, like a bullet from my valve. Yeah, it's a lot easier to write to write music when you have five different heads yeah. working together. What AJ yeah. said. Like, I wrote like the verse part like. It's like okay, so you no, had a rip like that. Is when we mash all like, our dickheads perfect. together, we get that. <laughs> right, like like like, 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 like you have to have five heads or it doesn't work. A so like he's summer, talking about like, like a mega zord, like, like a, a mega, yeah, mega yeah, it's exactly. like a mega dick, but we're not gonna talk yeah, about that. Yeah, it's like a mega zord, but I think this band has like some weird. We don't want to talk about that. That's different. Yeah, so we're kind of like. Like, what happens is we mash them all together, <laughs> and then as we're coming, the come shoot. And it kind of look, and, look, and it looks it like, and it looks up into the side. And it looks like that too, though. But it looks like that too, though. It's weird. <laughs> what? See, not just for conversations. Way too much for me. I think the cool it's thing. Kind of, wait, go ahead. I think What's the cool, the cool the, thing about like when we get together in a room and like just plug in practice amps like an organic band is like everybody kind of like. Even though we may not agree with what we know the other person wants to do, we all yeah. know what everyone wants to do, and there's like somewhat of a format where everyone's mind is like kind of connected. Yeah. Where it's like if AJ's humming something, I'm like, that that's it, and he's like, uh huh, and he's like, well, what about this? And I'm like, what? Well, you know, yeah. and and like it, that song was really nice, even though it was done quickly, because I think everybody was very much like trying to read the other mind while trying to do what they wanted and we all at the end gave a thumbs up because I think what we were trying to do. I think, where that, I think where that came from as well was the fact that uh, um, you know we, we knew it was urgent but we so we had to put our all of our egos aside individually and say okay this is a compromise from start to finish we don't have time to be at each other's throats about what works what doesn't let's just do what feels natural yeah. and it worked so to sum it all up evil things album has a song for everybody so it no matter, does. So no matter really what, right. listen to it, vibe with it, stream it, yeah. buy it, pirate it. You will like the album. Anything in the future is coming out? I know you said a, a lyric video just well, came what out. What if you're a pirate? Any music videos or anything? Right. Or? Uh, actually, it's a funny thing. Um, yesterday, because we got here early and there were, so we were there were some technical difficulties with the stage with everything setting up. Uh, we were supposed to shoot like some stuff on that stage for a music video oh, that we cool. shot. Yeah. You know, we, we were shooting today. Yeah. We ended up finding a this insane looking warehouse uh, over here. So I sent a photo. Uh, I had him go stand in the middle of this area with his perfect, two perfectly arched lights. And I go, holy shit. And so I had him go stand over there with his guitar. I laid down on the ground and like bent my phone up and took a photo. And I sent that immediately to the camera crew before they got here. And I was like, 
this is we struck gold. We need to go <laughs> shoot a music video right now inside here, and then oh, everything really? else is just fucking yeah. live footage. I love it's like, it. It's like so, icing on the cake. So we have a music video coming out soon. Oh, I can't and wait I will to tell see you. It. I can tell you, it's for life of a pair. So. And definitely yeah. a lot of surprises. A lot more recordings coming. Mm -hmm. Maybe some covers. Maybe some interesting things. We may or may Another not have done a cover. <laughs> this, no. year, this year we may or may not be writing for the new. The train doesn't stop. Keep it quiet. The train keeps rolling. The train keeps rolling, and, and there might be a coming. cover on its way right now. We don't know about that. Though. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. That's you got great. it, man. It was a pleasure. Woo! We love you. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, share it on social media, and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell. You can also check out our back catalog. We got some great band and celebrity interviews. And follow us on all social media at Bionic Buzz. Thank you very much.